yo 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 what is going on this is going to be a course review of machine learning by andrew ung um and yeah so the question is basically should you take the course in 2021 uh or is it just outdated by now so yeah i guess like the too long didn't watch of this video is if you're considering taking the course i still think it's a great course so i first did the course about three years ago but I took a look at it again, just to see sort of the material and, and re sort of repeat some of it. And yeah, like am amazingly, I think the, the content of the course is still great even today, like even 10 years later. The only con I'd say is that the programming assignments are in, in MATLAB and Octave, which I mean, who, who uses that anymore? Nobody uses that. So preferably, you know, they would convert those to Python. But then also, I don't think that it's too much of a big deal. So what I mean by that is the time that you will actually spend on the on the programming language itself is so minimal that it doesn't really matter. And yeah, so that's pretty much like the only con that I can see of this course. All right. So I think that if you if you're interested in machine learning or yeah, you want to sort of uh, are curious, interested what the field is about then this is the course you should take. Uh, it's per pretty much the perfect introduction. And it has introduced so many people to the field. Uh, it has, you know, it, that's the reason why it has legendary status at this point. And the great thing about, so the thing that I found pretty good about the course is that, um, so when I did it, I had taken calculus. Uh, I had actually taken calculus one, one, two, and three and linear algebra. But honestly, like none of that, those math prerequisites exist. So if you have, if you don't, if you haven't taken calculus or linear algebra, you can still understand the course. I do feel that I had, I, I got some better intuitions from knowing the math, but in no way are, is it like a, a requirement. So that's the great thing about the course as well, is that even if you don't know any, if you just have a high school math, uh, then you're pretty much good to go. Um, I guess the only thing that you would need is like, I don't know if it's a prerequisite, but I think that if you know basic programming, then it, it would help. But yeah, you can you can definitely figure it out without. And I think that even in the course, he has like an introduction to to Octave and, and introduces the language. But yeah, so the, like the course is pretty uh, standard in the way that it's structured. You have like video lectures um, and also you have like a pop-up quizzes, uh, pop-up questions rather, like during the videos and you can um, in that way improve the retention of the material. You have quizzes uh, for for that week and then you would have some programming assignment at the end. So, I mean, what you would learn is pretty much basic concepts uh, related to machine learning. So I, you probably don't know what these are, but like uh, supervised learning, unsupervised learning, uh, definition of machine learning, um, overfitting, regularization, uh, bias versus variance. Yeah, and the list goes on. Gradient descent. Yeah. And then also like some common machine learning algorithms like linear regression, logistic regression, um, neural network, support vector machines, and principal component analysis, stuff like that. So yeah, I guess none of those made sense for you if you're just uh, thinking about taking the course. I guess what, what is like important to know is that in my opinion you'll be at least 50% more badass after taking the course than you were before. I don't know if that says more about me than the actual course but hey that's my opinion. Alright so one thing I think could be um, challenging that I found challenging during the course um, we're not so we're the programming assignment so the lectures are pretty easy to follow Andrew is a great teacher so that made things you know pretty easy to to understand. But then in the programming assignments, you're supposed to to take that algorithm that he explained and put it into code. And you get instructions on how to do it. But I found that sometimes I got stuck and it was difficult to actually understand the assignment. So one thing then is that when you get stuck and you feel like it's not you, you can't understand it and it won't work, you like uh, you almost get a feeling that you'll never understand it. Just keep going. And I can't explain how many times I felt that during some, some course that in the beginning it feels impossible, you feel really challenged, and then when you overcome it, 
and after you've understand it, it it almost feels easy in a way so yeah that 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 is sort of one obstacle i'll i'll think you will face if you take the course but yeah stick with it and i think that if you do get stuck if you if it's if you can't continue then um there are so many solutions online. You can probably just Google uh, GitHub code and you can try to sort of find out what they did and how that works. And, and so I'm not suggesting that you should copy someone else's code. Don't do that. But obviously, if you reach a point where, you, where you're not able to, to complete it and it feels impossible, um, I would say stick with it. And if, it can, if you continue to feel that way, then do check some solution and try to really understand what's going on. But yeah, that, that's sort of the main obstacle in, is, is the programming assignments. And I think the only sort of con of the course, rather, I guess there are multiple cons. So the first con is the, is obviously programming language, which we talked about. And then the, it's a relatively bad quality of the videos and audio. It's not too bad, so you, it's still okay. But I think that's a con. And then perhaps the, um, so I guess this is quite specific, but the neural network part of the course is a bit outdated when it comes to notation and and, uh, and how it's introduced and stuff. Anyways, that's it for this video. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.